I remember when I got confirmed, I was given a book called It's Time to Be Bold by Michael W. Smith. If you don't know who that is, that's fine. If you really want to know who that is, go ask your mom who was really into 90s contemporary Christian music. She probably loved Michael W. Smith or your dad. I don't know. Um, but I got this book by him and it confused me because it's like, I need to find my place in this world. What is the will of God for me? What does God want in my life? And it's like confusion. And, and, and it, it, it upset me, you know, because I, I'd like go in my backyard, look up into the heavens and be like, what do you want from me, Lord? Okay. The will of God. What is the will of God? That God's name is kept holy and his kingdom comes to us. The will of God is not the death of the sinner, but that all may live and come to repentance and abide in the forgiveness of their sins. What's God's will for me? That I not die in my sin, but die to it in the forgiveness of it and abide forever with Jesus. The will of God is the nail marks in the hands and the feet of his son, the spear mark in his side, the thorns in his brow, the whipping of his back. That's the will of God, is that you live with him forever. And his will is done here and now in time. When your pastor forgives you your sins and it's forgiven in heaven, that it may be on that last day. You don't have to hear your sins are forgiven, but instead come. You who have been and stand forgiven, who are righteous, come for my will is done because I've made sure of it in my son. God bless you all. See you next time.